Um, what the affirmative has failed to address, and it was addressed by my um, my partner, was the violation of the 14th Amendment of the U.S. Constitution, which states that the forbidding the states to restrict the basic rights of citizens or other persons. So, um, and according to voter ID laws for political gain, and states that in Florida, both the state's former Republican Party chairman Jim Weir and its former Republican governor Charlie Chris told the Palm Beach Post in 2012 that the state's voter ID laws was derived to suppress democratic, democratic votes. Another uh, source from a Republican state legislature states that um, I was in the closed set Senate Republican when the final round of the multiple voter ID bills were being discussed. A handful of the GOP senators were giddy about the ramification and literacy singled out. The prospect of suppressing minority and college voters, oh, I'm sorry, were giddy about the ramification and literacy singled out. The prospect of suppressing minority and college voters, think about that for a minute. Elected officials planning and happy to help deny a fellow American constitutional right to vote in order to increase their own chances to hang out to power. And um, there was no evidence then, and there has been no evidence since, of large-scale voter fraud, which the Washington Post reported that so, so far there were a total of four confirmed cases of voter fraud nationwide in the, in the 2016 election. That's out of about three, 135 million votes cast. Therefore, voter fraud is not really a big problem because we can clearly see that they do not make the voting process, they don't, they don't increase or decrease the voting process by any terms.